A milestone is being celebrated in Madison, Wisconsin this week as the World Dairy Expo marks 50 years of showcasing the U.S. dairy industry. According to our partners over Dairy Herd Management, World Dairy Expo began in 1967 as the World Food Exposition. It has since evolved into the largest dairy trade and cattle show in the world. Nearly 2,500 cattle, 3,000 international guests from nearly 100 countries. At the expo, aside from milk prices, industry leaders and producers are concerned about live cattle trading under a dollar over the last few weeks. And while milk may be the main product, industry leaders say falling cattle prices also drive decisions at the dairy. Farmers aren't, uh, don't have any incentive to cull cattle right now, even uh, they're low producers with these beef prices so low. We saw cow numbers jump 45,000 head over a year ago in August, even with these low uh, milk prices. And with cheaper feed, they have no incentive to cull cows. Dairymen have a very difficult choice. Do I get rid of this cow that really isn't worth much anymore, or do I try to get more milk out of her and generate more revenue to cash flow the operation? And so far, we've seen choice B, where we're going to use up all of this really good feed that we have and in abundance and get more milk out of the cows rather than get rid of the cows. We'll take a closer look at milk price expectations and impacts coming up tomorrow on Ag Day. The Expo runs through Saturday.